Let us consider adding of polynomials. Let us consider 2x square plus 3y. This is one expression given to us and we have to add it to another expression that is 3x square plus 5y. Now, if we were to add this, then 2x square and 3x square are like terms, 3y and 5y are like terms. So, when I add the like terms 2x square and 3x square, we will get 5x square and when I add 3y and 5y, I will get 8y. So, the answer of this plus this will be 5x square plus 8y. Now, these are unlike terms, we will not be able to add them further. So, the answer will be 5x square plus 8y. Now, if we were to subtract, now subtract the expression means again suppose the same question instead of addition they are asking us to subtract 2x square plus 3y from 3x square plus 5y. If we were to subtract 2x square plus 3y from 3x square plus 5y. So, when it is from this that will be written first. So, 3x square plus 5y minus this first term that is 2x square and then plus 3y which is the second term of the first expression. So, always remember when a polynomial has to be subtracted from another polynomial this will be written first minus whatever is the first term that will come inside brackets. Now, why do we put inside brackets because unlike addition where we can simply add in subtraction the signs of this will change. So, if it is plus it will become minus and if it is minus it will become plus. So, when we open the bracket the first expression will remain as it is there will be no change to that, but when we open the bracket here we get minus 2 x square minus 3 y. Now, after we open the brackets we look for the like terms. So, here we find the like terms 3 x square minus 2 x square. So, 3 x square minus 2 x square we will get 1 x square or simply we can write x square and 5 y minus 3 y we are going to get positive 2 y. Now, let us look at multiplication. Let us say we want to multiply x plus 3 with x plus 5. It means that x has to be multiplied with both the values given in the second bracket. So, x will be multiplied with x plus 5 and then 3 will be multiplied also with x plus 5. So, x to be multiplied with this and 3 also to be multiplied with this. When we open the bracket x into x will get x square because the power of x is 1 and the power of x is 1 and when we multiply two numbers with the same way when the variable is same the powers are added. So, 1 plus 1 will become 2. Then x into 5 we will get 5 x, 3 into x we get 3 x, 3 into 5 we get 15. So, we have got this after opening the brackets. So, final answer we will get x square as it is but here we find that there are like terms. So, that has to be added 5 x plus 3 x we get 8 x plus 15 as it is. So, when we have opened the bracket we have got x square plus 8 x plus 15. So, this is multiplication of a binomial with a binomial. We could also get monomial with binomial, trinomial with trinomial and so on and so forth. Different combinations can come and here we find that all the terms are positive. We can also do it with negative terms. Let us try out another example in which we have a positive term multiplied with a negative term. So, x plus 5 has to be multiplied with x minus 2 or let us change the power to x square minus 2. Now, when I multiply this, this will become x into x square minus 2, then 5 has to be multiplied with x square minus 2. Now, opening the bracket, the power of x here is 1, the power of x here is 2. So, when I multiply this 1 plus 2 becomes 3, the powers are added x into 2 will become 2 x, but there is a negative sign here. Then 5 into x square we get 5 x square and 5 into minus 2 we get minus 10 because there is a negative sign here we are putting that sign. Now, we get this all are unlike terms, so we cannot add or subtract them, but when we write the final answer we have to write it in standard form. Standard form means the highest power will be written first then followed by the lower powers. So, we have the highest power here as 3, then we have 5 x square because the power of x is 2, then we have minus 2 x because the power of x here is 1 and here minus 10 this is without variable that will be at the end. So, this is called writing in the 
standard form so standard form indicates that we are arranging this in decreasing powers where the highest power is written first and the least power is written in the end 